Hey everybody, so today I thought I would just talk a little bit about what to do if when you're trimming your rabbit's nail you accidentally cut the quick. Um, if you didn't know, all rabbit's nails, most animal nails, in fact, the quick grows with the nail. So if you have a really long rabbit nail, it's likely that the quick is going to be quite long as well. <laughs> what are you doing there, Coco? You're checking it all out. Um, and if you cut the nail back too far at once, then you're likely to actually cut the clip quick, which is the blood supply to that nail, and it will bleed. I think all of us have done it at least once um, in our <laughs> time of cutting pet nails, and it's usually not a big deal, but it can be quite startling when you do it because it does tend to bleed quite a lot and, you know, you feel really bad for doing it. So I thought I would just share with you a few tips on how to stop it bleeding if you do accidentally get the quick. Um, now the best thing, <laughs> Coco really likes the cornflower. I'll get to that in a minute, go, go. No, don't do it, Dylan. Um, now the best thing to do is to have one of these steptic pencils. Uh, they're used for shaving nicks, um, cuts, insect bites and stings on humans. Um, and what they do is they just help the blood to clot and stop the bleeding instantly. Um, I had to get this one from the chemist. Uh, a lot of people say they can get them from supermarkets, but I haven't been able to find mine anywhere in supermarkets, so I got this one from the chemist. And I haven't actually used it before. I haven't had to since I've got it, luckily. <laughs> so um, I can't give you a demonstration, but it's really simple. All you do, I'll get it out and show you what it looks like. So this is what it is out of the pack. It's just a little stick. Upside down, can't really read it there. Just a little stick, and what you do is you just take it out. You want to moisten the end slightly underwater so that it's a little bit damp. Don't lick it or suck it because it's not safe to eat. And then all you do is you press that onto the nail for a couple of, um, just for a couple of seconds and it should help the blood to clot and stop the bleeding instantly. Now if you can't find one of these, there are other things you can try. Um, if it's not a big, if you haven't cut the quick too deep, it's just a little nick, you can try using a clean dry cloth and just pressing it onto the nail for a good two to three minutes if your pet will stay still that long and the pressure might just help to stop the bleeding. Other things you can do, you can dip the nail into cornflour which will help it clot and stop it bleeding. Just dip it into that for a few seconds and see how that goes. And another thing is you can get a clean bar of soap. Just I usually just moisten it a little bit and then you just press the nail into that and that sort of coats the, the end of the nail and that can stop it bleeding as well. So it's not too big a deal when you cut the nail. The only thing you need to be careful of is if it is bleeding a lot, if it's like pumping blood or if it just won't stop, um, that can be a little bit worrying. So if it is going on for a long time or they keep making it re-bleed or if it looks a little bit infected after a little while, you do need to go and get them to a vet for that. But most of the time, using one of these methods, it should stop on its own pretty quickly. Uh, you feel awful when you do do it, but all of us have done it and it does sometimes happen. Uh, the best thing to do is to keep your nail, the, the pet's nails short so that you know the quick's short and you know just regularly to just trim off the very end and it's unlikely you're going to get the quick. Um, I forgot to say too, with the steptic pencil, it will sting a little bit when you put it on, so just be prepared for that. It will sting just for a few seconds, so if they, you know, draw back their foot or anything, it's probably just because of that. Um, so yes, yeah, so I just thought I'd share those few tips with you. Um, hopefully they help you if you ever do find yourself in a situation where you have clipped the nail too short. Um, and the, all these methods can be used on all sorts of pets. So you can use them on your bunnies, your piggies, your cats, your dogs, your chooks. And yes, chooks do need their nails trimmed sometimes. And they do have a quick in their nail too. So it applies to all animals that need their nails trimmed as well. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that was useful. And I will see you in my next video. Love and hugs. Bye.